1990 on a H Peugeot 205 GTI 1.6 in Miami blue with the full grey leather and grey carpet set, which is quite rare. With, for the first time in a long time, a working vacuum on the sunroof as well. So like I say, it's a 205 GTI in Miami blue with a grey full leather and carpet set. Bodywork wise, we're going to start off the bonnet, work our way around this lovely little 205 onto the interior, onto an engine startup, and we will show you the sunroof working as well. Up the bonnet there, it's going to want some polishing, a little bit of paint in places. There's a little bit sort of sun fady haze on the side there, and there is some surface scratches where in the bonnet where it's been washed over the years and a few stone chips and again you can sort of see a bit of a haze on the left hand side there as well but no big dings or dents that and see a little bit of a stone chip dent down here on the front nose but not bad at all lights are lovely and clear on the left and the right hand side grills all intact apart from a few stone chips there as you come down the bumper corner bumpers fit nice and tight to the body no big scuffs or scrapes on the lower half or the plastics. We have got some stone chips across that lower half there, which you can clearly see. And again, right hand side, no big scuffs or scrapes, lovely and tight to the body with his driving lamps there, his fog lights on both sides. And a little bit of a little bit of fade to the bumper itself there on the black plastic side of things. Again, really good news at them at these 205s. Onto the driver's front wing, a few little stone chip scratches there. As you come around the wing, all nice and tidy, very presentable, all nice and shiny. No gouging or scuffs or scrapes out the plastic trim. And again, fitting nice and snug on all four corners, this. Have a good look at the wheel there as well. That's the left hand, uh, the right hand side front, sorry. Down the lower half, again, a few little stone chips, but no rust coming through that. And see, all nice and tidy on the lower half. As we come across the door, again, a few stone chips all the way along there. A little bit of a stone chip rust blur there. Very, very small on the right hand side driver's door at the bottom again the plastic trim is nice and tight all the way along this side down the rear quarter lovely and straight down there tiny tiny little bleb in the bottom there very very small and we'll do the sill section as well there so you can have a good look all nice and blue no black salt signs halfway up the door this is not textured i've had plenty of peugeots in here where people end up texturing them all the way up there no heavy scratching around the handle there a little bit of a heavier scratch just below the lock but all nice and presentable across the door top there no dings or dents of that and see down the door top. Plastic mirrors are all nice and tidy. Up onto the roof now. We've got a few sort of hazes in the lacquer there. You can see that across the roof and across this pillar here. I don't know if a polish would sort that, I'm not too sure. Nice and tidy around the roof itself. No corrosion around the front edge there of the sunroof. Back down that lovely rear quarter. We've got a tiny bit of lacquer peel between the barge there and a bit of fade to the fuel filler cap. No gouges out the plastic. Again, a little bit of fade, but no big, no big gouges out the plastic at all there. All nice and tidy. Slightly a heavier scratch here, just on the rear quarter. As we come around the back bumper, again, lovely and straight on the right-hand side corner, no scuffs or scrapes. Rear light's nice and clear, and that rear section there, the plastic grill section's all, in, all intact, lovely and tidy all the way across the back edge there. No corrosion, which is nice to see. Nice and tidy as you come down the left-hand side of the bumper, all lovely and straight, a tiny little scratch just at the top there. A nice and tidy across the whole back bumper. Plastics in lovely condition. Up onto the boot lid itself, we've got a tiny little touch in here on the left-hand side, and another one just there, just on the left-hand side of the wiper. But apart from that, no corrosion around the washer jet or the wiper arm, lovely and straight. Windows all nice and clear as well. As we come down the left hand side rear quarter again round the arch no rust no concerns there lovely and tidy down the lower half section apart from a few little stone chips there and nice and tidy on the quarter two little burn throughs in the paint there one there and two little tiny ones there that's how harsh you've got to be on that side but lovely and fresh good polish would square some of this away and again that's sort of hazing us to the lacquer on the roof on the left hand side as well with a little bit of lacquer peel to the door pillar so come down the back of the door there, a few little stone chips down the back edge of the door, it's where the paint's been taken off, and a few stone chips across the lower half and the sill section, but no rust on the bottom of the door. Looking straight around the handle and down the rest of that passenger door. A few little blemishes in the paint here on the front, and a little mark something going on there on the wing. Lower half section again, no rust, nice and tidy on the lower half section. A little bit of paint off the door edge there. Plastics are nice and tight all the way around. 
And again, across the passenger wing, a little bit, a few little bits of imperfection in the paint and a mark at the front of that passenger left-hand wing. Onto the interior now, like I say, it's rare to have the full grey carpet set with the grey leather. Door card itself, lovely and tidy. No cracks to the lower section around the window. Uh, window switches, nice and tidy across the handle there. The seat itself, they always wear a little bit, these Peugeot seats. We've got the same sort of amount of wear as normal on these. Two little splits in the leather there on the driver's bolster, which you can see. And some wear to the bolster itself, including on the insert swap there. Lovely grey carpet set, like I've mentioned. Nice and tidy that throughout. No cracks to the dashboard, all lovely and tidy across the dashboard. Nice and standing as we come down there. No heavy scratching around the heater dials there. Nice and tidy around the gear stick as well. Sort of a period, oh, I think that's a standard head unit it is as well. That's nice to see. Dials, lovely and clear, no problems at all there. And a little bit of wear to the GTI steering wheel. Headlining is lovely and clean and tidy as well. No nastiness around the sunroof. The driver's seat reclining forward perfectly. Nice and tidy in the rear there. A little bit of creasing on the lower half of the swab there. On both sides, but apart from that, very, very presentable. Lovely and clean on the carpet set in the back. On to the boot now. Carpet, there, sort of the vinyl inlays there. No holes in the parcel shelf. And we've got that out so you can have a good look at the boot floor. This is where the Peugeot guys want to be. All nice and original in there. A few very, very light surface spots there. I mean, very, very light. But apart from that, lovely and fresh in the boot floor. On to the left-hand side front now. Again, lovely and tidy across that front edge. No complaints there at all. Lovely and straight as we work our way up. The seat there, no splits to the bolster, but there is some wear again and some cracking in the leather on the passenger front seat. This one again, reclining forward as it should. The rear again, I've mentioned the wear on the bottom. Backrest looks to be okay. Wants a little bit of a leather condition if you've been small sort of pity but usable as it is. No cracks on the left hand side of the dashboard. Onto the engine being now a 1600 litre petrol engine. Do you want to do the sunroof first, James? Yeah. We're doing the sunroof first. They never work. This one works perfect. Sliding lovely and free. Let's have a look at the gutter reels while we're in there. Oh, wow, look at that. No complaints there at all in that gutter reel. Lovely and clean and fresh in there. Seals up really quickly as well. Lovely. Right, onto the engine bay now. James is going to fire it life for us. I have to admit, normally these little GTIs take a while to idle. This one seems to, seems to idle straight away. Taking over nice and happy there. Sensibly priced this one as well. And there you have it. A 1990 on a H Peugeot 205. GTI Miami Blue with the full grey leather and carpet set and the working sunroof there.